Hey guys, it's Rachel with Mr. Knowles Glitter and Leslie with Crafty Thriving. She's going to be our special guest this month. So we are going to be doing the unboxing of July 2021's Wonderless box. Um, and it's we are going to Nakia, Mexico. And um, so first of all, we're going to point you down. Um, we're going to do unboxing together, so she's lucky she gets to get her box this month before everybody else because she's here to pick it up. Her and her family are here on vacation with us, and so um, let's point you down, and we're going to let you, whoops, not drop the mouse into the garbage. All right, so first of all, you're going to get your box every month like you normally do. These are handy-dandy boxes. They are very strong, perfect to put all your crafty things in. Uh, has the Wonderless logo on the front. Our web address and Mr. Nola's cute little mug at the bottom and everywhere that you can follow us. So, like I said, this month we're going to Nakia, Mexico. Um, here is the postcard. So, look how cool this is. And you're probably going, what on earth is that? So, let me read you the little excerpt and then we'll just dive right in. So the postcard reads, hey travelers, this month we're traveling somewhere especially unique. Join us in researching and exploring the Cave of Crystals in Nakia, Mexico. This cave is home to some of the largest natural um, selenite crystals formations over, uh, that's ever been discovered with the largest measuring over 37 feet. Though we can't vis visit this extraordinary cave in person due to the extreme conditions, it didn't stop us from finding the immense inspiration and the beautiful pictures that have come from the Cave of Crystals. So whether you subscribe to the properties of crystals or just like to admire their beauty, we hope that you'll, you'll be inspired by your souvenirs this month. XOXO, wish you were here. So again, this is the front of the postcard that you're going to get. So this is actually a picture of um, if you guys would like to do some research on this, fascinating, fascinating um, place in Mexico. Um, there was a, I think a um, National Geographic thing that we found on YouTube. It's like 30 minutes um, and it's really cool. And this is an actual picture of someone on one of those crystals in there. Um, so this is the postcard, of course, on the back. It's going to be a list of all your souvenirs, what they are, their value. Um, we also like to keep the month uh, and the date that you're traveling. So if you're keeping these for your travel journal um, or you ever want to know where, where it was or anything, you'll have that information. First thing always comes on your postcard is your passport stamp, your travel stamp. Um, and these are designed by Bridget from BB's Impressions, and they are printed by Crafty Thriving on our, fam our favorite clear cast. So we'll put these to the side. You can do with these as you wish. I'm collecting these. I'm going to make a big tumbler with all of our passport stamps, and it's going to be my new travel tumbler. All right, so we're going to open the box. <gasps> So, um, the first thing, so we're going to go the first thing you see. So, you're always going to get your postcard. So, the first thing that you see in this, um, let me figure out where it's at on the postcard. So, this is our Good Vibes Clear Cast. This is a sheet of our favorite eco solvent material from Crafty Thriving LLC. It's designed with a multitude of vibrant and striking crystals to add some good vibes to your project. This is such a beautiful clear cast. Um, they're perfect for magnets. We have already used, Leslie doesn't have, this is actually Leslie's because her box doesn't have one in there because we've already used the one out of my box to do, yeah, to do, um, do some projects. There's, I think they're either there or there. So these are perfect for magnets. Um, they would be perfect on your tumblers if you wanted to. You can do um, pop sockets. You can do any kind of little um, fidgety things, beautiful little knobs, whatever. I think these would be beautiful if you were doing some um, um, knobs for your cabinets or whatever. They're around, they're mo the biggest one is about an inch and a half. Um, these are some magnets that we've done. We haven't finished them out, but you can see we used them on little tiles. We'll just put magnets on the back and you can put them on your refrigerator. But you can see like this one was this one right here. So really gorgeous. So clear cast, these are all clear. So when you put them on things, um, whatever you're putting them on, your projects or whatever, 
that don't have to necessarily be white because you can still see through them and you can still see how beautiful they are. So this is a whole sheet of um, clear cast like we always get in our box, but this month is beautiful. So Leslie can't show you those in her box because these are the ones out of her box. <laughs> <laughs> I, I use the ones out of her box. Um, also, there's the directions on how to use them on the back, and there's also a coupon to save you 15% off of anything else you order from their website with us. So that is the clear cast for the month. Now, we are going to, um, we can get into the nitty gritty. Look, let's do it this way. So you wanna put your box over here and then we can do. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna rip off the paper. And if you noticed, um, we have changed from the um, crazy Easter grass that we were using, the shredded paper, and we've now moved to um, tissue paper. So I'm thinking, me and hopefully you guys will thank me I like the tissue paper. yeah because the 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 shredded paper was pretty but it was a mess all right so the first thing we're going to go through here is da -da 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 -da. first thing on the list is um sugar amethyst rock candy so i mean this is like really cute this is candy this is not um this is not uh anything else but candy and it just fit with the whole theme of the box okay so this is a wand of traditional rock sugar candy in a deep purple to add a little sweetness to your summer. So I'm loving the snacks that come with the box because usually I eat the snacks while I pack y'all's boxes, so that's cool. Um, the next thing, um, we have a new, um, we have a new business that we have in our box this month. So we have included these crystal point bath bombs. So you might, either, you might get one that looks like this or you might get one that looks like this, but they're crystals and they smell really good. I think there's really three good. different scents, three different colors, so you can get one of each. But these were, um, we partnered with the Creative Otter to create a custom crystal tower shaped a bath bomb that will envelop you in the relaxing scent of galactic skies moon child or after the rain to help you wash away the day so these are really cool um these are i i'm in love um so this was a small business that we found um after we put out a um uh an ad or not an ad like i said hey i'm looking for this to put in our box we we partnered with this this company and I'm really Ooh, happy. I like this yeah, one. They, yeah, this one smells really good. So Ooh, you'll I be like able to that. see, um, she's got her name, her sticker on the side. So if you like these and want more, you can, you can visit her and uh, you can check those out. All right, the next thing we have um, is the Precious Minerals DIY pin. So this is a do-it-yourself fillable pin with a small jar of various precious stones, chips that fill up and carry with you. So you're going to get the DIY pin and then you're going to get um, one of, I think there were seven or eight different um, stones that you could, got, you could get. Uh, everyone's getting a random one. So this is one I can't pronounce. Um, car carne carnelian. Really? So this is like a, a pink, like quartz almost. Not a pink quartz because I know that's a thing. Oh, and then yes. this is, and she's got amethyst in her box. So they're little tiny. The jars are fresh. Look how cute that is. So this, she's got amethyst, and this is this. I don't know how to say this. And why isn't it focusing? It's really making me mad. Okay. So look how cute. So you, you just pop off the little cork. Here, hold this. Um, you pop off the cork. It's a tiny little cutesy tootsie. Look at this little cork. Oh, it's so tiny. Um, and then the, the stones come out like this, and then you fill it in your pen. So it's like, the, it's like the DIY glitter pins, except these are crystals. So you'll have your own crystal filled pin. So everyone's going to get one different. I think there were, I think I said that there was either six or seven um, different, um, different stones. And I'm pretty sure there's enough in here to do more than one. So if you have um, these around. And if you have a friend, you can put oh you can mix and match some of theirs in it okay and some let's of see yours so in it. 
These are actually um, these are actually upgraded from the ones that we used to carry. These just have a little pop off here. You don't have to um, you don't have to like really work that. So you, okay, I'll have some of those. Um, you have some of these. Okay. All right, and shake them in your hand and mix them all together. And I'll take some of your purples. So I'm gonna shake it in my hand, like mixing it together, <laughs> like this. And then you just super just shimmy them in, in there, yeah. Oh, I like them mixed. Yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah. And so look, y'all, you're going to get a lot of pins out of this. We gave yeah, you one, but if you have, if you have, um, I'm going to actually, this is a lot of, this is a lot of stones in here. Yeah. I just put them back in the little jar. Yeah, I'm going to put them on back in here too. And then put your corky back on. Yep. And then put your super cute corky in your pan. All right. My little cork back in here. And you just smush your little cork, your little rubber piece in here. Ring. I know. I, lo I used to lose them when I made them. And then this is just press it in. And look, so now you have a pen. We both have a pen with crystals in it. How cute is that, right? I love that. So oh. cute. And you can hear it kind of make the little... But it's really cute. So it's a little alternative to the glitter filled pins. Um, you can just do, you can fill it with these little precious stones. So that's cute. That's Love that. Cute. Love that. Okay. All right. Next up, we have um, um, a gem slice necklace. This is a small pendant necklace inspired by the stunning cross section of a polished gemstone. So. These are super pretty. Now I know a lot, some of you don't wear jewelry and that's okay because you can actually use these for anything that you want. You don't have to wear it as jewelry if you don't want to. You can, um, you can take it off of here. Uh, you can put it in epoxy and make, um, you can cast it in resin, whatever you wanna do. So this one, I got a blue one. What color did you get? I got a blue one. Oh, you got, she got a blue one. <laughs> <laughs> What color? Oh, the yellow is pretty too, though. The yellow is super pretty. Yeah, and so there was, I think there's like six or seven different colors of these. And so you're going to get one of these. I love the gold detail around the edge. Yeah. Like, it's super pretty. So it looks like uh, it looks like a real geode slice. So that was the one side, and this is the other side. Love it. Um, like I said, if you don't wear jewelry, you can use it in resin crafting, or you can make a keychain out of it, or a fan pull, or anything yeah. like any kind of little dangly beautiful there you go ma'am there you go well let me put little we're going to put them back over here and then yeah. you, you can get the one that you want or you can just give me the yellow one. <laughs> oh, i didn't mean to do that no Sorry. i don't care i really don't yeah um addy will probably still let you yeah one. i'm sure anyway. yeah <laughs> all right the next up is the um geo druzy heart mold so this is create your own beautiful geode heart <clears throat> with a druzy insert that will give you give your creation a stunning 3d crystal effect <clears throat> excuse me this finished is amazing i wish i would have brought it i didn't i made we made them at the shop but i don't have it this is a really nice um this is a very nicely made mold um and you can see in the center it looks like this little rough spot so when you pour it and um, everything else in there is smooth and you can see see how shiny it is so it is a shiny mold but when you pour it and you demold it this spot right here looks like the inside of a geode so it's like super um porousy druzy that's the only word i can think of i don't know if druzy is an actual word but i think it's called a druzy yeah it's druzy yeah so if you rub your fine glitters or your micas right here and then on this pour, uh -huh, okay. it'll give it that like shimmery okay super um we'll have to do these today we'll have to crystal moldy so we can show we can post pictures in the group later yeah 
But I love this mold. Yeah, I love this. Amazing. And this is a very this is a very well made mold. This it is, is um, this is not a chintzy mold. This is not a, um, a cheaper mold. This is a nice mold. All right. Then we have um, our crystal um, stalagmite mold. So this is super cool. Let me open it. Um, this I love a lot. So you got two molds this month, but both of them mean, both of them are totally different and you get like such a cool effect out of both of them. So this is how you pour it. So you pour it like you're gonna pour a cup. Um, so like this, this part will be at the bottom. So then you pour your epoxy or whatever you want in there and when it's when it's done you pop it out and it looks like you have all of these crystals so you can color your epoxy with alcohol ink um, micas glitter whatever you want and then each one of these holes will be a different crystal so then when you have that done you have this little tea light that you pull your little battery pack out of and then you light it up, if I can turn it on. So it's like one of those fake um, fake candles. It flickers. It even flickers. So can you imagine like if you had this in here and this was like all made with epoxy where it looks like it's crystals, it would be glowing. So for these molds, if you drop in your alcohol ink, do colors, mm -hmm. and then you drop in some random white ones, mm -hmm. and then you pour it, it gives you that um, cloudy, floaty effect. Oh, like the, with, um, like, so your Petri dish look kind of like, right? Kind of, but with like your crystals, so think of like your darker crystals, how they have those veins of colors and mm -hmm. like clouds in them. Okay. It'll give you that effect. All right. We're going to do those next too. We're going to play with those today too. All right. All right. And then the, now it's for the showstopper. Okay. <laughs> These glitters, I got to move this because I got to, I got to get the box out of the way. You guys have got to see this glitter because this glitter is um probably i want to say let me find a paper so i can um get it out oh garbage came down we're good it's okay we're fine it's totally fine it was fine it's fine so this glitter is probably um at the best probably the best um smattering of glitter that we've we've included all of these are irregular cut my favorite Let's see, can I bring this back in? Yep. All right, cool. Um, so you, we have, you have four beautifully stunning irregular cut glitters. So when you're mixing these and these crystals or this druzy or anything, to be honest, you're getting such, um, so much depth and it's unreal. So the first one we're gonna go with is Jasper. So Jasper is a two ounce, of a light green iridescent chunky shard glitter with a teal shift. It looks like green. Um, it looks like green jasper for personal growth. This, y'all. This I can't even tell you. So just laying it down like this, you're like, oh, that's so pretty. These are bigger shards, so this is a different type of glitter than you're normally um, used to working with. So this is going to be. Um, probably better in molds if you're a newbie um, if you're not you just know that you have to work with it a little bit to get it to lay flat but like look at that it is so pretty these are this has big flakes in it these are big shards so you see all those back so it looks like broken um, jade glass and this is iridescent so this will change the look depending on what base you put it on so right now this is on a on a white base but if you put this on a black base this is going to pull more purple than it does green and it's crazy because what you're sh like what you're seeing is different is and different perfect from what i'm seeing is yes like, like blue and it's cr like that yeah. shift is amazing there you go there's your blue yeah so you look on the back side of the paper and you can watch the shifts so it shifts from purple to green to blue to there's some teal yeah, so this one's got a lot of colors in it, a lot of depth in this. Um, and it's super, it's a super shard, if, if that's a thing. Make sure that, not to plug that in. 
so I can make sure to watch the camera. Um, so this is the first one. Love it. These are going to be beautiful in molds. Um, you could definitely glitter a cup with it, but um, I think you're going to get more. I think you're going to get such a big. Um, whoops! Look at me making a mess. Hot dog. Um, I think you're going to get such a big effect when you use it in a mold like any of the, like this crystal mold or the druzy mold that um you're gonna you're gonna love it there um and this is angie's favorite uh she loves shards so she's super happy about this mug. all right the next one we have a <laughs> mess i made a mess is desert rose this is two ounces of a metallic gold medium chunky shard glitter. Desert Rose helps protect from negative energy, and we believe this gorgeous gold will do the same. So this is a, this is the same. I believe this is the same size as the green, um, but this is like this is like a almost like a champagne gold, like a really. It's not like fool's gold. But there is two different colors gold in here. There's like a light gold and like a dark yeah. gold. So it's it's a custom mix gold. But it's not, it's it's so, it's like regal. So I would imagine this would be very pretty for any kind of a wedding. You mm -hmm. know, like a very soft gold. I'm not talking about like super brassy, but it's very. Not old gold. It's yeah, very... it's gold. Yeah, it's very much like a true Sham, almost a really champagne -y, like very mild, not a yellow, not a brassy, but like super pretty. And then you can see all the different sh um, cuts in here when you're looking at the back side of that. And when you when you fold it out on your hand or even in there, you can see the two different colors, which yeah, make it like a really pretty color. Yeah, it's it's very dimensional for sure, just because of the cut. And then when you add those two different color golds together, it brings on another dimension. So it's super versatile, but it's also um, you could use this by itself, and you it this would be very powerful because it's not just like gold. There is there's so many layers to this gold. It gets super fluffy when you take it out. Which means that it goes a long, yeah, long way. Yeah, so it goes a long way. So you get a lot of bang for your buck. All right. So that was Desert Rose. Next, we're going to go to the um, Selenite. The Selenite is a high-energy crystal, and this two-ounce jar of light blue iridescent chunky shard glitter is certainly high-energy as well. So this one, um, this one is my second favorite. I'm saving the best for last. But this one is, mm, mm, mm. So this one is my favorite. This one's your this favorite? My, well, this is my color. Your color, like, yeah, like your, and the next one is, is kind of my, my yeah. color. So this is, um, this is a, so this one was green and this is blue. So it's definitely different. Um, this is more of a turquoise teal blue this kind of has more of like an like, opal shift yes very opaly there's a very deep not deep but it's a very purpley shift on the back so if you see here whoop. yeah don't pr pretend like you didn't see that holy moly okay we're gonna make this one blue son of a don't pay attention to the man that just made a mess. That would be me. Um, but you can see, you can see the purple in this a lot. So this is very purpley blue sea, like perfect beach sea. If, and when you're looking at it from the angle I'm at, oh, you see like a light, light blue. Okay. And I see a lot of green too. The opal, yeah. the opal shift is probably green and purple. It's there's really there's a lot there's a lot there's a lot look what I did I spilt it all over my <sighs> this is why I can't have nice things so that is the selenite which is gorgeous which uh, that's what I'm gonna put in that first mold since it's full of that it's 
why you close your glitter before you. So see, your glitters are closed. You're good. I did, yeah, but it's everything else that wasn't closed. <laughs> oh, look, we're making it in this one, too. That's what I... Oh, oh wait, that, that is, is that mine. One. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that's the one we're going to use first. All right, and last but not least in the glitter lineup is uh, Fluorite. This is a two ounce of violet iridescent chunky shark glitter with a teal and gold shift. Um, look to fluoride to absorb all of your stress. So I need this by 55 gallon drums, please. So this is really, really pretty. Yeah. So it's very, it reminds me of the color of your shirt, to be honest. Yes. It's that. Um, well, and it has the shifts of all of the All colors those colors too. Yeah. Oh. It's very pretty. The gold and purple in here is like my favorite. Like my, 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 my favorite. Yeah, that is, that is so beautiful. Um, ugh. I'm going to do something amazing with this. I can't wait. Look at that. Look at the gold shift on here. Um, it's almost got, it's, so it's got some purple and it's got a gold shift, but I also kind of see like a rose gold in there as well. Yeah, it's a very, it's not like a gold, like a heavy gold. It's more of like a peachy, um... Yeah, like a pe Ooh. like a like a light pink. Hold it up to your face this way. Do you see that? Oh, it's nothing. It's like almost all rose gold. It's like yeah. lavender gold. So it's like lavender gold iridescent. It's it's a lot. So it's a it's hard to describe these kinds of glitters because um, what I see, someone else doesn't see. I have um, Leslie that works with us. Um, I'll, I'll say, oh my gosh, look at this glitter. And, she, and I'll show her a picture and I'm like, oh, I love this glitter. And she'll say, oh, that's a, that's a pretty green. And I'm like, it's pink. How is it green? So like her, her, you can, other yeah. people look, pick up different shades or whatever. And so when I, when she says, oh, it's green, I'm like, oh, I see green now. But when I look at it, when I'm like looking at it myself, I didn't see green. Yeah. So it's very, um, and this one's this. crazy because like right here in my hand, I can see that rose gold. Yeah. But right here in my hand, I can see green. The green. Can it's, you see the flip brush? The, um, the brush no. to kind of pick up the mess that you made, Leslie? Gosh, darn it. You made a mess. She likes when I come because all we can. She makes all the messes. Make all the messes. Yes. Okay. I don't like these. This is not the most efficient brush to clean up with. But the floor looks pretty. Okay. All right. So let's recap, shall we? So you're going to get the um, sugar rock candy. Let's bring it out. Let's go here. All right, so you're gonna get your rock candy, right? And put this paper, Ooh, don't look at that paper. I'm gonna lay it all out and we're gonna recap and then we're gonna call it a day. So you're gonna get your rock candy. You're gonna get your um, bath bomb. You're going to get your clear cast. Clear cast here. All right, you're going to get your DIY pen. So you're going to get your pen, and then it comes with your jar of crystals that you can fill your pen. And that seriously, this is how much we used out of here like hardly any. And we filled one pen. So if you have more of these DIY pens, you can make several of these. Um, you're going to get your necklace, your um, gem slice necklace. You are going to get your Druzy heart mold. Yours that. won't look like this. this <laughs> Yours will look more like this and not contaminated with glitter that you spilt all over the place. At least I hope not when you get it. Um, you're going to get the Crystal Cave Collection. Your four, your regular cut glitters. And then you're going to get your Crystal Stalagmite, stalagmite Mites grow up mold with your tea light to light it up. And that is your July 2020 Wonderlust box. So ah. beautiful. So there you have it. Um, that is July 2021. Um, so hopefully you like it as much as we did. We had a great time. Um, 
putting this one together um, my team this is really they loved this one the most so they did most of the work on there um, Alyssa Amber and Kelsey uh, that they loved the crystal so they did um, amazing in curating all these for you guys this month so um, if you like this leave us a message let us know the subscriptions open on the 16th of the month so set your alarms we open them for limited amounts um, we have to cap it off until we get moved in um, to our new location so we have more space to do this so we're super excited about that um, so there will be a few um, open enrollments come the 16th of the month and then um, every time you sign up when you sign up it's a monthly reoccurring charge and it's your build the first time you sign up if you're a new subscriber and they always ship at the end of the month so um, there you go if you have any other questions um, or if you have any questions about any of the products that we have included in this box including the companies that we have partnered with um, you'll find all of that in the description as well and um, we can't wait till you see what we do next month so um, we'll talk to you soon bye, bye. <laughs>